using VCarve to produce a small gasket on the CNC router. So in this tutorial we're going to take this gasket which was imported from AutoCAD and we're going to prepare it to actually be CNC routed. So up in the top right corner there's a little thing called tool pass. Okay, and these are all the different paths and things that things can do. So one's called a profile which would go around the outside. One is called a pocket which would dig the inside out. You know, then there's drill and then there's a whole bunch of other ones for v uh, carving and inlay stuff and that type of stuff. So what we're going to do is we're going to do a tool path or a profile path. So we're going to pick the object first, the outside go back to the tool path and I'm actually just going to pin this so it doesn't disappear on me. Okay, Then I'm going to go to the profile and in here we're going to start with start depth. Well the start depth we're starting at zero. Okay, The cut depth we're going to go 0.64 deep. Right, So in other words we're going all the way through the material. Okay, The tool bit select in here, if yours is not set to end mill 0.25 you got to set it here but there are different ones for different applications. So end mill 0.25 click on OK Number of passes, you're going to leave this as six passes, but if you know your machine really well, you can actually edit the passes and do different depths, but you're just going to leave it set to that. Okay, now machine vectors, we want to cut the size of this, so we want the outside of this, so we're going to go outside versus the inside of it to make a proper size hole versus on, which would be kind of like right on the line. So we'll leave that one, we're going to go direction, we're going to go conventional, okay. Now, do separate last pass, we're not going to worry about that. Add tabs. Now think about this. If I go and just CNC route this out, the machine is running and when it cuts through it, this piece will be loose in the machine. So you got to actually keep it attached. So we're going to go to edit tabs here. And I'm just going to go to add tabs. Okay. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to put one there. I'm going to put one there, one there one there and I'm just going to take this one here and I'm just going to move it along. So sometimes you put tabs where they're kind of in an obvious place or not in really tight spots. So there's my four tabs to hold this part in. We're going to leave them here and just hit close. Okay, so there's my four tabs and you can see that mine are 0 0.5 and 1.25 and we're going to get rid of those or 0 0.125. We'll get rid of those later on. Okay, and I'll explain that after it's been CNC routed. Add ramps to path. That means basically if you're going to hog off a lot, don't shove straight down in the material. In this case, we're not going through hard material, so I'm just going to have a ramp of one. It really doesn't matter here. And then finally at the bottom, nothing else here, we hit calculate. Now, I'm going to call this profile outside okay, of gasket. And that way we know exactly what it's doing. And then we hit calculate. Okay, Now in this one here, we hit the speed or the um, play button, you can see it's cut out that, but that's all it's cut out. Okay, so now we got to do the other one. So we're going to hit close, and now we're going to go back up to the top to the tab that says 2D view, and we're going to pick this one. If I pick just with the left mouse button, you can see it doesn't pick both, so I'll hold the shift key down, pick that one, and then that one. Okay, if I want to deselect or try that again, okay. I can hold the control key down as well, but if you hold the control key down, it doesn't do both. So shift key there, there. Okay, this time we're going to do a pocket. Okay, and a pocket is going to carve out the middle. So we're going to click on pocket, same depths, same, so set this to 0.64. Okay, uh, same tool bit. And then down here, basically, we're not using any of the other stuff. We're going to do climb again, or we'll do conventional. Okay, and then the plunge moves distance, we'll just go one again. Okay, and then down at the bottom, we'll call it pocket. We'll just call this one holes. Okay, and then gasket. Okay, and then hit calculate. Now you can see it's set up like that. And if I reset the view, and if I hold my left mouse button down, I can rotate this into 3D. We're going to use this to get it kind of in 3D. And I'm going to preview all tool paths. And it's going to do that, and it's going to do all of them at the same time. Okay, now, the order at which these were done, if I reset this and play again, okay, it did, sorry, let me go reset it and preview all. It does the outside, then the inside. Now think about this. It's going to hog off the material on the inside after it's done the outside. I don't like that. So I'm going to put the holes first. I'm just going to drag at the bottom here under tool pass. The holes go first. Reset it. Play it. And I'm going to slow it down a bit. Okay, so now we press play. You can see it's doing the holes first. Okay, and I'm going to preview them all. Sorry, there we go. Okay, and now it does the holes first and the gasket outside later. And that's what I want. Okay, so that finishes off this part of the tutorial. I can just hit close on this part. And we'll finish off on the last, in the last um, installment.